Liver cancer has truly become an epidemic uh, in our country over the course of the last two decades. And that's occurred because of the increased number of cases of cirrhosis related to either chronic hepatitis C and to a lesser extent chronic hepatitis B. Uh, again, as a young medical student, a case of liver cancer came along on a rare basis. But now it's quite common for us to see anywhere from one, two, three, four cases every week. What's important for the uh, public to understand is that this is cancer that starts in the liver. And if it's limited to the liver, if it hasn't extended outside the liver, and if it meets certain criteria, then we have different therapies through our colleagues in the interventional radiology department who can inject chemotherapy directly into the tumor. Uh, we have oncologists skilled in treatments that uh, can be administered. And then again, our transplant surgeons are very skilled in terms of obviously being able to remove liver tumors either by removing a portion of the liver or by removing the entire liver and then going on to a liver transplant. When I think back to the earlier days of my career and patients with untreatable liver disease, basically we're told you're gonna die. And that's why it's so exciting to see the evolution of the diagnoses and treatments that have occurred over the course of my own career. Uh, hepatitis C, we didn't even know about hepatitis C in the mid-1980s. We didn't have treatments for hepatitis C. Liver cancer, again, it was a death sentence. And so, to me, it's a very exciting time, not only looking at the past and the present, but also looking at future treatments that we will have along with uh, other specialists around the world, knowing that things are just gonna keep getting better for our patients.